www.wildfoutdoors.com and next on our fur list of stuff the fur I'm going to be working with is deer these are some deer I took this year and this is I don't know if this is a doe or a buck but I got a few of them I'm going to do and uh, what I'm going to make with that is rawhide Buckskin. I'm gonna. I've never made buckskin before, <coughs> but I'm going to this year. And processes are the same. You just gotta add a few different things. We're gonna start out fleshing. Then we're gonna pickle it or dehair it. Then pickle it. See, I almost forgot the dehairing. Uh, I'm gonna show you some basic dehairing solution. You don't need a bunch of acids and stuff. Uh, you're going to do an old type of tan and this is all stuff that you can gather and use to tan hides so I hope you enjoy it I hope you learn something I hope I learn something I know I'm going to learn something and hopefully by the end of this the whole series I'll be wearing me a nice buckskin coat keep watching So that did in just a few seconds. Hey, what? Well, that was getting plum messy, so it's outside of that kind of work. Woo! Ugh. All right, so I got my hide mostly fleshed. Uh, I used the drill technique along with the catfish pliers. They work really well, tearing them big chunks off. And on the edges, I went ahead and used my draw knife and a fleshing beam which that's just you're gonna have to use those when you're doing uh, skins you know people have been using them for hundreds and hundreds of years the fleshing beam and the draw knife but using all that it took me about 30 minutes to get that hide pretty well fleshed and now I'm going to make up a dehairing solution soak it in that and uh, I'll probably keep fleshing it in between these stages just to make sure I get as much flesh off as I can. That'll make your tan last longer. So right now, let's get some fleshing or some dehairing mixture made up. Well, I got uh, some rainwater here that I collected. Uh, I'm gonna put some ash in it. The I believe the concoction goes one gallon of ash one gallon of lye into the water a certain amount of water <coughs> I'm not going to use any lye but I am going to use some ash because hopefully that will take the smell down uh, in primitive dehairing you just soaked it in rainwater for five six seven days however many days it took until the, high, the hair begins to slip but uh, it can get kind of smelly so I'm just gonna throw some ash in here and maybe that'll help speed things up a little bit and plus keep the smell down. I got a bucket of ash right here. some of this 
some of the members that are some of this chunkier stuff off the top. Put your skin in. And you're going to need something to put on top of there to keep it down. I uh, use rocks. So we can start dehairing this dude and it won't stink too bad.